welcome um, today I have a tutorial for you with questions and answers and um, examples well examples first then the questions and then the answers uh, for converting binary to denary to hexadecimal or hexadecimal to denary or to binary whichever way you put it uh, we are going to go through this um, by the way um, whenever you think you should read the text on display you may pause the video and move on I haven't timed it so we will go pretty fast but I will still be more reasonable okay this is our starter um, uh, a little bit of a teaser really it's just basic knowledge of computer science but also uh, just to test your understanding of binary so um, you if you wanna do this pause the video and um, because I'm moving on now okay those are the answers you can you know see what you got right and what you could have done better um like i said before ones and zeros are the values for binary numbers binary numbers binary is a language that computers understand and when you key in something on your board or make a command whether it's a verbal or you know whichever input you give to the computer the way it processes it is by first of all translating whatever commands you're giving it into binary form and that way it can understand what you exactly want it to do and binary can also be used to represent numbers as we shall see later on denary denary is from zero to nine they uh, i'm going back to binary binary um there's either a one or a zero so binary is base two because it doesn't go beyond a one so it's base two <clears throat> denary however is base 10 and it goes from 0 to 9 however you can still make up any numbers like whether you want to make 11 12 13 whatever 200 1 million you still use numbers from 0 to 9 all right that's denary and those are the numbers you're familiar with hexadecimal um, starts from 0 actually you could say it starts from 1 to f but still you can write 0 0 0 or 0 with you know hexadecimal but it's irrelevant it's base 16 and um, the top value for hexadecimal is f and f in denary is number 15 so hexadecimal is base 16 each hexadecimal value represents a 4-bit binary and i'll show that in a minute okay now 4-bit binary sequence okay for each hexadecimal now for example if you have a number like that a binary number like that all you have to do is write a a because with hexadecimal if you divide this into two reading from right to left okay right to left um you have one zero one zero which is a okay and then you also have another one zero one zero which is a um, a is number 10 in denary and um, in binary is 1010 whereas in hexadecimal is a letter a okay so rather than writing all of these ones and zeros you can just write a a base 16 that's why hexadecimal helps to save you space and time while it's trying to represent data moving on now <clears throat> The key features to note here is that um, with um, um, converting, with regard to converting um, numbers, for example, the Dinry numbers, they are written like this, 1 to 15. Uh, binary numbers are written from 0001, that's a 4-bit binary, to 1111. And their representatives um, in hexadecimal start at 1, up to F now after 9 after 9 uh, you notice that um, after 9 then we don't no longer write numbers we write letters from A so A is 10 or 1010 
B is 11 or 1011 and so forth up to F which is 1111 okay what you see there these um, letters are used to represent hexadecimal values now we can use this table to convert numbers for example if you're given a B if you're given this B here you would convert it to binary by looking at its binary value or to denary by looking at its denary value okay and that's how you convert it and like i said each letter in hexadecimal represents four bit bit means binary digit so that's one two three four that's four binary digits um you can also um use placement values okay these placement values can be used but they are uh, they start starting from one then you start multiplying by two okay so one times two is two okay and two times two is four four times two is eight eight times two is sixteen you go on and on and on but you start from you are writing all of this from the right hand side in your table going towards the left hand side okay starting from one you start multiplying one times two two times two four times two eight times two and so forth so converting a number like 18 a different value like 18 we will look for a um, the closest number to 18 that is not greater than 18 it may be equal to 18 but not greater and this number is got from the placement values these placement values on top okay so the number we found here is 16 because 32 is bigger than 18 of course so 16 minus um, 18 minus 16 you are left with 2 and when we look here we'll notice we have a 2 here so if we put 1 under um, under 16 and a 1 under 2 now when you're writing a binary value for 18 and notice you have these two zeros in the front we don't necessarily have to write them okay we can just start at one zero zero one zero the zeros are the far left can be ignored okay the far left zeros can be ignored unless you've been specifically asked to um make it a um, let's say an, a seven bit binary uh, number okay because what you see here this is a five bit binary number now as a five bit it now it's a normal number but if you are asked to make it a seven bit that's when you add the two zeros at the far left otherwise you can just leave it as it is okay one zero zero one zero is 18 base 10. now converting numbers um now that's done on that okay converting numbers to um um converting hexadecimal values to uh, binary the best way to do it put it in a table okay now remember each hexadecimal value represents four four bits okay four bits for one hexadecimal value okay so what, what that means is number four here okay because we're going to separate them we're going to split them so we're going to deal with one at a time so four converted to binary we have because here as you can see here using the placement values it starts at one two and four and then eight four digits okay four bits now to write four all we need is this four here we don't need any other number so we put, we put one under the four and the zeros elsewhere okay so which means we are going to write four because remember four comes first so i write four here okay and then deal with e after okay e is um as you can see up in this table here e is 14 one four and this binary value is one 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 zero okay so e okay which is 14 is one 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 zero okay and then that's why we add it over here okay now these zeros you see here you do not ignore okay do not ignore these zeros you've got to write them however you don't necessarily have to write the zero on the far left you, you know the zero that ends right at the left at your left you don't have to write that one okay so now let's move on all right if you still want to read through this you want to read through this topic or this um i mean this um um you want to read through the the text i wrote here 
uh, feel free to pause the video and then read through it, okay? However, I'm moving on now. I have an example here. Um, and this example is about, um, you know, converting denary to binary. Okay, and remember, um, base 10 is denary, okay? And um, it's got um, a subscript of a 10. Yes, right under this subscript. That's a 10. Okay, that's, that's base 10, which is denary. And the others, hexadecimal has a 16 under it, and um, binary, of course, has a 2, base 2. So we are converting denary to binary. Oh, this is denary, that's number 23. We're going to convert it to binary. Okay? The best way to do that is to write our placement values over here. Okay? And these values, they start from 1, then we keep multiplying by 2 each time. Okay? Multiply by 2 each time. Okay? Now, 23 doesn't really need a 32. Okay? So it doesn't really need this 32. So we don't need to write it. Okay, so we stop at 16 here because 16 is the closest to 23. We're going to put a 1 under 16. Okay, and what is left is 7. Okay, so 23 minus 16 is 7. So we're going to find values that make 7. It's not 8, so we put a 0 under 8. But however, 4, 2, and 1, if added, they make 7. So we put 1s under each one of them. And then we illustrate that 16. Okay, 16 plus 4, 2, and 1, they make 23, okay? And because we have 1s under 16, 4, 2, and 1, and a 0 under 8, that means the binary value for 23, which is this one here, okay? And then don't forget, of course, to write um, base 2 to indicate that it is in binary form, okay? 35. 35, we need a 32. We need a 2 and a 1. If we add all of those, they make number 35, okay? And for the rest, we can just write zeros under them, okay? So we start at 1, the three zeros, which are in the middle. We do not ignore them. We've got to write them, okay? And then 1, 1, right? That is 35. That's the example. Take a good look at this. If you want to pause the video and read through it again, try and process and then I will be showing you task one. Okay, we're moving on to task one now. <clears throat> Can you please convert these um, uh, uh, denary values to binary? Okay, now remember, I'll go take you back here. That's how you do it, okay? You make a table, you write the placement values from one all the way to 32 or whichever way and then you know you just you know put the ones under the values that total up to make the denary value that you had and then the zeros elsewhere so you are going to do this now bear in mind that um what you see here okay this is not a binary number this is a denary, so it's a hundred and ten. It's not one one zero. It's a hundred and ten because it's a denary because you can see a subscript of ten. Right. So is this okay? That's eleven. Yeah. And this is ten. Convert them to binary. You can pause the video. Okay, so I'm moving on. I'm going to show you the answers to these um, numbers. All right. There. Again, never forget to use this table here. It's very important. All right. Um, the first ones are pretty easy. You know, you have a 5, 8, 10. They're all within 1 to 15. So from 5, 8, 10, 11, and 15, we can use this table above here to find their values, okay, 5 is over there, 8, 10, 11, and 15, or you can use placement values, now remember the biggest one is 170, now if you keep multiplying by 2, okay, keep multiplying by 2, you'll notice that this takes you to 256, 
and you don't really need 256 because it's way bigger than 170 so that's why i left out the column for 256 i now some of you might have written different tables for each and every one of these numbers however this is another way another really easy way of doing it just put all of them in the same table put the numbers on one side put the placement values on top values on top and then put the ones and zeros where they fit four and one if you add them they make five so you don't need the two that's why you have a zero there so the binary code for five is one zero one so you try and observe all this you see eight here all you need is an eight here the rest is zeros do not ignore these zeros at the far right you have to write them okay the zeros you ignore are the zeros at the front these zeros you don't have to write them okay so those are the answers all right 170 you need 128 you need plus 32 plus 8 plus 2 makes 170 hence the binary code for it is that the rest are zeros okay so i'm gonna move on now to another example if you wanna you're still looking at the answers and trying to cross check with your ones uh you may pause the video okay This example here shows you how to convert um, hex, hexadecimal to binary, okay? Remember, base 10 is binary with a 10 subscript and hexadecimal is a 16, which is what you see here, okay? So you're going to convert it back to binary, all right? Now, like I said before, we separate these values, okay? We separate them okay so each one of them is dealt with individually now three is a three over there base 16 and a base 16 okay so three written in four bit is zero zero one one remember each hexadecimal value it represents four bits so binary four binary digits okay so even though three is one one basically you can add the zeros in the front here just for now okay a is number 10 which is one zero one zero in binary as you can see up here that's a so um we write one zero one zero so now we are going to combine the two all right remember three started first so the binary code for three is zero zero one one okay and then in came later a um the binary code for a is one zero one zero okay now alternatively you may decide to just ignore these two zeros it's like if someone said to you write number five writing it as zero five and writing it as five the value is still the same but the one writing 05 or 00005 is wasting time and space. Okay, so you don't need those two zeros basically. A, B, C. We deal with C, so I understand. I put everything in one table, but I color coded them just to show you that there's a difference. Okay, and as you can see, these placement values, they are representing the four bit binary. So one, two, four, eight. That's it. You stop there and then you loop again. One, two, four, eight. Repeat again. One, two, four, eight. You keep repeating every four bits. Okay. And remember writing this from um, right to left. So C is over here. And we know that C is a 12, as you can see above on that table. C is a 12. Okay. So C being a 12, we're going to look for numbers that when you add them, the numbers from placement values, if you add those two or those placement values, they make 12, okay? And these are 8, because 8 is the closest to 12, and then 4 is the closest after that. So 8 plus 4 is 12, we put 1s under them, okay, and zeros elsewhere. We're not going to ignore these zeros because they're on the right-hand side. The zeros on the left-hand side, the very end you know of the number are the ones we ignore so we have one one zero zero that is a c okay this is our c and then b b is 11 okay b is 11 as you can see there b is 11 and the numbers that make 11 are number eight 
number two and number one if you add them you get 11 you don't need the four so you put a zero under four okay we turn it off we switch on eight two and one and then we are going to show you that the binary code for 11 is 1011 as you see up here so 1011 is 11 this year okay that's 11 1011 is a b okay that is c and the remaining one is a which we should be familiar with by now that a is number 10 and 10 is 1010 okay shouldn't forget forget that so again we're using a new set of replacement values placement values is 1 2 4 and 8 remember these are placement values that sh um, allow you to write the hexadecimal into a 4 bit binary each hexadecimal um, value now a here is written as 1010 which is what you see here okay and that is a okay 1010 okay so that's abc the binary code for abc is 10101011110 base 2 okay you may pause the video i'm about to move on now and that's how you work out converting hexadecimal to binary the simple way as far as i see it okay there are other ways of doing it but this is the cho the one that i chose that i think is be way better mm -hmm. so moving on task two can you please convert these values the hexadecimal values to binary okay don't be mistaken when you see this this is not number 10 and it's not one zero in binary is one zero in hexadecimal this year is e zero zero hexadecimal okay this is not number 12 is one two hexadecimal right okay you can pause the video now and see if you can do these numbers and remember you may group them you can um, uh, deal with them separately it's entirely up to you so i'm going to show you the answers now okay the answers are coming up the first set it shows you because of course we know what a is uh, 1010 is number 10 so you got that corrected that's right e2 we're gonna separate them okay we deal with e first e is 14 okay and 14 as you can see up here 14 is a 1110 1110 you can still work it out from here knowing that 14 e is 14 we need to find values uh, which when added will give us an answer of 14 and those values are 8 4 and 2 we don't need the 1 which is why we put a 0 there we are not going to ignore these zeros neither are we going to ignore this one so a 2 the binary code for 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0. okay remember it's a 4 bit it's representing four binary digits which is why we write 0010 okay and these zeros because they are in between they are right in in between the actual uh, the whole binary number we, we have to include them okay um so the uh number last is one 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 zero 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 one zero f1 as you can see just the way we did e to separate them one is zero 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 one and f is of course four ones so we're going to write the f first here f and then one in binary as a four bit value is zero 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 one okay you don't write one that would be a different number zero 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 one as a four bit value uh so hence that's what you get okay take another look at this example um, i mean this answer if it's what you got mark it 
If not, there's always room for improvement. Here's another set of answers. I don't have to explain much on this except for the last one. Uh, the last one is E00. Now, this would be pretty obvious to you, um, knowing that E, as you can see up there, okay, E is number 14, okay? And um, 14 is 1110, okay, because you have to add 8 plus 4 plus 2, okay, 8, 4, and 2, okay, and there's 0, which is a 1 there. So you get triple 1, and then you write a 0, and then afterwards, 0 is 4 zeros, and another is, the other 0 is another 4 zeros, okay, because just respect the fact that each zero represents four zeros in binary. Each hexadecimal zero is four zeros in binary. These place these places here are very very important. Okay, otherwise you won't if you if you've been asked to convert it then to um binary, you should get the right answer. Okay, if you you know you're careful with the zeros here. So if this is what you got. There's um, 1, B, D, E, 1, 2, and 1, 0. If those are the answers you got, well done. If not, remember, there's always room for improvement. Uh, I left out these zeros here. But if you wrote the three zeros and then 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 for E, uh, or rather 1, B, you can still get a mark for it, OK? But if you wrote it like this, you still get a mark the way it is, OK? Same applies to F. 1, 2. If you included these zeros, if they're included in your answer, it's still marked correct. But if they're not there, then you still get the right answer. Okay, it's still correct as well, either way. Okay, so we're going to move on now. Converting binary to dinary. Converting binary to dinary. Okay. Binary values. Now, the first set you see here, okay, these are what you see in common is that they are up to four bits, okay, four binary digits, okay, one, two, three, four binary digits. This one only has two actually, okay, so it makes our work easy. Now, if you wanna let allow it to match, you can put some zeros in the front of it, okay, however irrelevant they are, but they still make up for the four bit. Okay, so then you can look for it here in the table, knowing that it's a 2, okay? 0010 0, 0 is 2 in binary, okay? And then you have a B, which is 1101, that's a D, okay? 1101, uh, which is 13, and in binary is 13, okay? And then 1100 0, 0 is 12, okay? 1100 0, 0 is... 12 and 1001 is a 9 okay 1001 is a 9 the other way of doing it is to put them in a table one large table like this one here okay and then um, writing the placement values knowing that um, these values here don't exceed a 4 bit so you can write 1, 2, 4, and 8. We're only going to use these values here, okay, to, uh, to find um, the answers. So 1, 0, remember we are writing them from right to left, right towards the left. So we write a 0 there and a 1, okay? Now 1, 1, 0, 1, we can write the 1, the 0, and the 2 ones, okay? One one zero zero, the two zeros and the two ones and so forth. Okay, up to fifteen. Okay. All right. Now we are going to add all the placement values that have a one under them. Okay. So here we start with a two. You can put plus zero, but it's irrelevant. You can say two. Okay, that's the answer for A. And then the answer for B, of course, is eight plus four because 8 and 4 have 1s under them, so 8 plus 4 plus 1, okay, 13, all right, and so forth until you reach the final one, which is 15 here, okay, you just add all of the values that have 1 under them, so here, task 3, task 3, can you please, um, 
uh, do task three. You can pause the video and do it. Okay, binary values to dinary. Let me take you a step back. You see that binary to dinary. Okay, if it's a four bit, you can use the table above there, or you can put everything in one large table and then work it out from there. So I'm gonna pause, you can pause the video. I'm gonna show you the answers in a minute. Okay, so those are our answers. Yeah, I have already explained this in the example. So just cross check to see if you got it right. So I'm moving on to um, the next example. You know, you've been uh, you're being asked to convert binary to hexadecimal. Uh, this is a tricky one, by the way. And I did give you an example at the start. Binary to hexadecimal. Okay. Here are our binary values. Okay. We can put some two zeros in the front here to make it even. Okay. So these you can easily uh, find the actual answers. Okay. Um, first one is a two, of course. Then you have. Um, a nine and so forth. Yeah. However, there's another way of doing it. Okay. We can separate these values. Okay. By counting four bits at a time. Okay. Every time you reach four bits, you separate. Now we start from the right towards the left, right to left. I'm going to put an arrow there showing you where the counting is heading towards okay so I'm gonna count one two three four okay we separate this block okay and then we write the placement values for this part which are one two four and eight okay one two four and eight and as you can see this value here zero zero one one has been written down here okay again we're gonna write another set of placement values one two four and eight and we are going to split that and write another set again one two four and eight and now we're going to count we're going to continue counting the next set which is one two three four and we separate that right there okay which is one zero zero one and it's right down here that's our next set and then the last one luckily is also a four bit okay so you can write fit it right there okay which is one zero one one that's the last set of values so now converting them okay we start from right to left okay the one at the right is a zero zero one one and thus if we add all the values that had the placement values that have a one under them we have a two and we have a one so if we add them okay we we'll get three which is why i wrote a three there so moving on to the next set eight has a one under it so does one okay so if we add eight plus one we go we we'll get a nine here okay the final set um eight has a one under it so does two and one if we add all of them we get 11. However, we're not going to write 11 because the hexadecimal value for 11 is a um, a B. Okay, it's a B. So we write B. We don't write 11 in hexadecimal. We write the letter that corresponds to it. Any value that is above a nine has a letter that corresponds to it, and it goes all the way to 15, which is F. So the same is done with um, 53. To make 53 or 53 base 16, we count four binary digits. Okay. We transfer them down here to the first set. Okay. 0011, which is a three, of course, because two and one, if added, we get three. The last set has three binary digits. Okay. So we write them from right to left. As you can see in the arrow right to left if you dare to write one zero one starting from left to right you're gonna end up putting a one under eight and then zero under four and a one under two and that would be ten it's not written like that in binary 
okay so best thing to do to keep it safe you put a zero there and a zero here and a eight so which is a five okay because you have four and one when added you get five okay which is five and three now i've explained everything to you in the example okay you can replay this part if you want you can pause it and have a good look at it and understand it because now i'm about to show you the questions okay can you please convert the following to hexadecimal so i like i said i'm not gonna have to explain again the explanations are in the worked examples so i will reveal the answers for you i know you can't do it in the time i've given you unless you pause the video so um and like i said at the start you know we're, we're gonna keep pausing the video over and over um and then yeah, that allows you time to get this work done <laughs> Or you can just work it out in your head if you're smart enough you know you can just work it out in your head uh, but you know I just set you the questions and you work it out okay answers are coming up here now going back a little bit you can see that there's so many these last ones are really large numbers aren't they um, and remember we have to separate them okay four at a time starting from right to left okay so here are the answers the four bit values we just use the table above here to find the uh, um, alternative um, numbers which is 5 7 4 11 uh, 7 and 14 and the rest are written down here or separated accordingly okay there's a7 b6 and 5 6 okay so moving on here's another example of converting hexadecimal um, to denary okay hexadecimal values to denary okay now <clears throat> we are going to use power values and multiplication okay um, so you have a one zero here the power value, the first power value is a zero. So it's zero times 16 to the power of zero. Okay. The next one we're going to add is a one times 16 power one. That's how you write it. Okay. When you're writing the powers, you start from zero, then one, two, three, and so forth, depending on the length of the number. Okay. For this one, the length is a two. So it's a zero and then one power zero and power one. And we multiply it by 16 because it is base 16 okay and go on 15 it okay that's why we multiply by 16 okay base 16 uh, 0 times 16 power 0 is same as 1 any number to the power 0 is a 1 and then we go to 1 times 16 power 1 is same as 1 times 16 which is why we got is 16 plus 0 and henceforth 1 0 base 16 is the equivalent of 16 base 10 okay um have a look at the others we have 9 and a now when you encounter a number like this this is when you convert a back to number 10 okay which is what we did here a is now a 10 okay because we are dealing with denary values inside here when you're multiplying you can't say a times 16 to the power of zero it wouldn't make sense you know you can't work it out like that the same with the ee -E here ee -E, okay e is 14 so it's 14 times 16 power 1 14 times 16 power 0 okay and then you get your final answer here you just have to work out there now <coughs> Questions like this, they may allow you to use a calculator, yeah, because some numbers are too big to work work out in your head, okay. Or they may give you a rough paper if you want to work it out on paper. They may do that for you, okay. So that's another way of that's the first method, okay, of converting hexadecimal to denary, okay. 
uh, here's another example. Now remember this example only had two, um, the length of two, okay? EE22109A. E These are three, one B zero, okay? Two A two, A C E, A F A, all right? And remember, we are using power values to work it out. So we start with a power 16, power 0, um, 16, uh, 10 times 16, power 0. Now remember, A has been converted to a 10, okay? A has been converted back to its um, denary value, which is 10, just so you can multiply it. Okay, so it's 10 times 16, power 0, the first value, uh, power value here, and then 15, which is F, times 16, power, zero, power 1, second power value, and then 10 times 16 power 2, which is A again. So as you can see, the answers are down as it, as it goes, you know, A times 2, 56, plus 15 times 16, plus 10 times 1. You get that as your final answer, 2810 base 10, 2810. Same with these ones, again, C is 14, uh, uh, rather E is 14, C is 12, and A is 10. We multiply them times 16, power 0, power 1, power 2, and you get this as your final answer. Okay, so you may pause the video again, study this, okay? Make sure you understand it, and then move on. I'm about to show you um, a question that I want you to do, but before that, I'm going to show you another method of um, doing it, and it's a, also it's a table system. Now, for this table, I will deal with one at a time, and remember, each hexadecimal value represents a 4-bit binary number, okay? So... To write a zero, you need four zeros in binary. To write a one, you need three zeros and a one, because one is the only value you need to make one. That's why I wrote a one under it. However, if we are gonna convert this binary number to denary, we might as well create a new row, okay? This one in black, and it shows the placement values whereby they are multiplied by two each time you want to write the next one, okay? If you want to write the next one, you multiply the current one by two. So you start at one times two, two, four, eight, sixteen, and so forth. And if we reach a level where, you know, we've covered all the numbers here in binary, we are going to add up all the numbers that have a one under them. And for this case, we have 16 and the rest are zeros okay so binary um, rather hexadecimal for one zero base 16 uh, rather a denary for remember it's hexadecimal to denary denary for one zero base 16 is one six base 10 you make you apply the same method on these others okay you separate them as for e you look for number 14 okay and you find the binary for 14, which is 1110. E, you're going to look for 14 again. It's the same number, 1110. And then you add all of the values, okay? As you can see here, all the values, yeah, that um, have a 1 under them. You're going to have to add them, okay? So you need, you have a 128, 64, 32, um, 8, four and two which give you a total when added of 238 this is task five okay convert these values to denary okay these are hexadecimal values um converting them to denary and i haven't set many questions this time it's a b c and d yeah Okay, so moving on. Those are answers using the first method. Okay. C is a 12 times 16 to the power of 0. Okay. 
which is 12 as your final answer. You have EO or E0, not EO, E0. 0 times 16 power 0 is 0 times 1. And 14, E is 14, as you can see up here. E is 14, okay. And um, F is 1, 1, 1, 1. B is 11. And D is 13, okay. By multiplication using power values, don't have to explain it, I've already done so in the example, okay. So those are the answers for task five using method two of the tables. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video, the way I've enjoyed it or even more. And I wish you all the best with your studies. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Okay, I will be posting these videos every now and again. Thank you so much and have a lovely day.